Hey there, fellow achiever, and welcome back to the Business Unfiltered vlog, where we are going behind the scenes of business and life as an achiever for 30 days together. And today happens to be a Friday when I'm recording, which really brings up such a great topic for me and one that I find people kind of get into entrepreneurship in order to get away from and then wind up going right back to the same thing. So let's talk about that. And that is the countdown to Friday. So if you've been in a nine to five, which most likely you have, you know that Friday is the day everyone is the most excited in the office, right? Everyone is counting down to the weekend. They can't wait to have those two days off where they can actually enjoy their life. And all they want to do is get to five o'clock on Friday so everybody can go home. Okay. I see that. However, when you think about it, that also means that you're saying that most of your week is spent counting down to just a few days. And that's kind of sad, right? Like you are spending a majority of your time counting down to Saturday and Sunday because you are not happy with the life that you have created Monday through Thursday and half of Friday. So when you are stepping into your own business, then you get the same thing, right? So, okay, now I'm in business and I have this option in front of me to create something that I don't need a vacation from, to create something that Friday looks just like Monday, Wednesday looks just like Saturday, like you do whatever you want in your business. However, if you don't watch and you create the wrong business that does not align with what you want, your goals, your dream, your vision, because everybody's is different, you're going to find yourself counting down in your own business. Are you counting down to Friday so that you can relax on the weekend? Well, why can't you relax on Wednesday? Why can't you relax on Monday? Like, I don't understand why we have this disconnect. So today I want to keep it short and sweet and ask you to evaluate if you are counting down to something, if you are counting down to the weekend, if you're counting down to your next vacation, if you're counting down to when your launch ends, like what are you counting down to and why are you making it that the current situation you're in needs a countdown to be over? Because that tells me that something needs to change there, that something needs to change in your everyday routine so that you're not counting down to this one day a week or multiple days a week or the vacation or the end of your launch or whatever the case is, there needs to be something that changes or else you're going to repeat the cycle over and over again. I know that because I did it. I counted down every single week to the end of the week when I would finally have some time for myself. And then I became a business owner that did the same thing that just counted down because I loaded my day with so much stuff, just like I was in a nine to five. I was just so used to that, that again, if you don't correct the cycle, you're just going to repeat it over and over. So it wasn't until I made that decision of, no, I need to make every day feel like Saturday or every day have the opportunity to go out and explore like I would on vacation. And every day can feel like, hey, if I'm in a launch or I'm in a big project or whatever the case is, I get to choose how I feel about that. I get to choose to take care of myself first, which for me, that works. Um, I get to choose and so do you, but you may be going on autopilot not realizing you have that choice. So the question for you today is, are you counting down to something? And if so, why? What's behind the countdown and what can you change in your everyday life that makes it that you can just be excited for what's upcoming and not necessarily counting down because where you're at is somewhere that you are not happy with. So with that said, I will see you tomorrow for the next day of the vlog and take today to really think that over, see if it applies to you because I know this message applies to somebody and go ahead and start making those changes that you need to in order to really have the business and life that you want for yourself.